Welcome back to Vitalise, where this week we are unpacking Gideon's story. I'm Gemma from Wickham Youth for Christ and it's lead to be with you. Yesterday we focused on the start of Gideon's story that we find in the Bible, in the book of Judges chapter 6. We found Gideon hiding from his enemies when an angel of the Lord appears to him to call him to save Israel out of the hands of the Midianites. And we hear Gideon's first response to that call, which is to declare his weakness and his inadequacy. But the angel of the Lord encourages him that he is not alone. In chapter 6, in verse 16, it says, The Lord answered, I will be with you, and you will strike down all the Midianites together. However, Gideon still needed assurance of who he was responding to. So he asks for a sign that it really is God who he he is communing with. And through the presentation of an offering, he realises that he is in the presence of the sovereign Lord. The Lord then tasks Gideon to remove his father's altar to Baal. And whilst Gideon is still afraid and fearful of his family and those who he is living amongst and therefore carries the task out under the cover of darkness, he knows who has directed him, who is calling him and he does it even though he does it scared. In response to God's calling, I've needed to know that it is indeed God who is calling. I've needed to discern what is the voice I'm listening to and is it God's voice or is it my own and that isn't always easy. Gideon only had the knowledge of what he had been taught about the character of God to base his faith and trust on, to discern who he was talking to. I however have the knowledge of who Jesus is, that his sacrificial death on the cross enabled me to have an eternal relationship with God, that nothing I do changes how he sees me and that every time I shy away from responding to his call through my own fear or lack of understanding, he continues through the Holy Spirit to be the guiding voice in my heart and life. I wonder, are you seeking the assurance that it is the voice of God calling you? that he is who he says he is. I just want to encourage you to spend some time listening and discerning the voice of God. This may be through prayer or reading the Bible or talking to others. To know who God is so that you can respond to his call over your life. Thanks for listening today.